Well, hello everybody. If uh, if you've seen my videos before on this colony, this is my Pokemon Miramix Occidentalis colony I got from Tar Heel Ants. Uh, you'll notice that things are looking a bit different, and they're looking a bit giant and kind of crazy. This is my biggest colony by far of, of any species of ant. Easily thousands of workers at this point. Their nest is a 15 by 15 inch uh, like grout nest or uh, like a custom made kind of nest. And their outworld is also a custom made. And look at just how many of them hang out here all the time. What I notice is at night when it's cooler, they absolutely just coat this entire area. Like they'll just cover every square inch. And it's just, it's just nuts. It's crazy. During the day, not as much, but there's certainly lots of them out here. I've actually started to reduce the heat on the colony and slow down their protein because, as you can see, they're not far from capacity even in this giant nest. So I'm trying to take them out of a growth mode and just kind of see if we can establish a bit of an equilibrium with them. I think that's probably hopeful thinking for me, but we'll see. I'm not opposed to adding more nesting space or outworld space. I'm just, you know, trying to manage how much space I have here to give them. Uh, I only have so much room. But yeah, look at this, all this brood. Nope. Well, you could if I would, if I would do the, uh, the focus. But anyway, uh, yeah, they're looking great. They're looking awesome. I haven't been able to find the queen, but I do absolutely know she's in here. I saw her when I first moved them in, and I'm seeing, uh, you know, fresh eggs and things. I know she's in here. I know she's laying. It's just, it's a lot of real estate to try to find the queen in. But yeah, it is, it is crazy. There, it's looking a little misty in here because I've had the the uh, the heat cable is on the dark plate, and I took that off a little bit ago, so it's getting a little bit uh, foggy or misty in there. But yeah, they're doing really, really well. It's been amazing. And they're just so easy. Like there's there's so little that I have to do. I give them seeds and I give them insect protein. <clears throat> and even the insect protein I'm scaling back because it's not really 100% necessary. <clears throat> I fed them a few small mice, like feeder mice, and they just destroyed them, as you would expect. Uh, it's just, yeah, anything I throw at this colony, they just devour. They are, they are uh, active, they are aggressive they will go after anything that goes into their outworld it's uh they're pretty fun to watch so yeah very cool awesome nest super happy with it uh you know there's not much space left though which is crazy i, I really thought there'd be a lot more leftover space when i moved them in and it's like oh boy do i really need to get another one already we'll see Anyway, thanks for catching up. I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.